Hello, boys and girls. Guess what time it is? It is reading time, and today we are reading the story Mouse and Lion. We will be talking about what happened in the beginning of the story, the middle of the story, and the end of the story. We will also be identifying the central message, moral, or lesson of this story. This story is written by Rand Burkert, Nancy L. Hom Burkert. What do you notice, boys and girls? What do you wonder? Good job. Let's go. Mouse and Lion. Look at the picture, boys and girls. What do you notice? Good job. One day, Mouse hurrying home, lost his way on a rocky ridge. He was in such a rush, he scampered right over a tawny boulder that lay in his path. What is the tawny boulder that is laying in Mouse's path, boys and girls? Good job. Look at the picture. Well, that boulder rolled over and caught him by the tail. It was King Lion in a bad humor. Scampering over my back while I was asleep. I'm not going to punish you, runt. I'm going to eat you. How do you think Mouse is feeling now, boys and girls? Good job. Mouse found barely enough courage to squeak. Sir, I took you for a mountain. Honestly. What do you think is going to happen to Mouse boys and girls? Good job. Look at the picture. What is happening? Let's see. Me, a mountain, lion muse. That is possible. He swung mouse to his whiskery jaws and growled. Mouse spun slowly as he dangled. He dangled as he spun. He squinted into lion's mouth. Feeling his warm breath, noting his yellowed teeth. Please let me go, Mouse cried. I promise to be loyal. I'm a brave mouse. <coughs> Put me down and I'll show you. Brave indeed, said Lion. He did a lazy half roll and Mouse found himself back on the ground. Show me how brave you are. Got that, boys and girls? Great listening skills. Look at the picture. What is happening? What is Mouse doing? Good job. Mouse spied a tall blade of grass and hurled himself at it, shouting, Watch me! Take this! And this! I see, 
said Lion. How many battles have you fought, little mouse? Believe me, king, I try to avoid them. I am quite small, you see. But I don't avoid mountains. I go right over them if they're in my way. Please let me go, mouse begged. You might need me someday in a pinch. Do you think Lion is going to let Mouse go, boys and girls? Good job. Got a picture? Lion laughed and laughed. I need you. Good joke. But I like you, little mouse. Go and climb more mountains. And don't brag about your bravery. King Lion gave his paw to be kissed, but mouse meekly backed away. Bless you, sir, and goodbye. Mouse tripped over his tail and rolled down the ridge and out of sight. Lion thought about him for a moment, yawned and soon fell back asleep. Do you notice? Good job. A year passed. And Lion forgot all about his acquaintance. One afternoon, a warm breeze in the tall grass made him drowsy. And yes, he thought, a wink under that old bobab tree, just the thing. He padded into the leafy shade and stumbled straight into a trap set by hunters. What do you think is going to happen to the lion now, boys and girls? Good job in predicting. Look at the picture. What happened to the lion? How do you think the lion is feeling now? Good job. Annette dropped and twisted around him. The more he kicked and struggled, the more tightly it bound him. It hurts, he cried, but nobody heard him. Look at the picture, boys and girls. What is that name? What is revealed? Good job. At sunrise, Mouse popped out of his nest and sniffed. He smelled lion and came running. No reason to be afraid of our king, he said. No reason at all. He found Lion in a sorry tangle, panting beneath the baobab tree. Oh, King, he said, do you remember how you laughed at me? I can help you now. Little one, Moon Lion, what can you do? Don't worry, my little teeth are just what you need. You tell me not to worry, Lion grunted. Good joke, little mouse. Do you think mouse is going to help lion boys and girls? Let's see. What is revealed in this picture? Mouse set to it nibbling the net and tickling lion with his paws as he scampered to and fro. Finally, Mouse declared, 
You are free lion. I mean. Lion stood up, shook his mane and roared. Look at the picture boys and girls. What do you think is happening right now? What do you think Mouse is saying to Lion? And what do you think Lion is saying to the Mouse? Good job! Then he crouched low to look in Mouse's eyes. Those little eyes seem full of darting thoughts and things to do. You shall also be free, Mouse. I grant you liberty to climb every mountain in my kingdom, even mountains that snore and rumble in their sleep, and roll over when you climb on them. Visit me again, my friend. I will, Mouse promise. Now please take care. Men are everywhere with traps to snare us, large and small. What do you notice? What do you notice? Good job. Lion watched until Mouse vanished between the rocks and grasses. Then he too bounded away until he reached the ridge where he could stretch and dream of bats and beetles, ants, bright sun birds and scampering mice. Look at Lion boys and girls. Look at this picture. Good job. That day, such small things made him happy. What made Lion happy, boys and girls? What small things made him happy? Good job. Thank you for your great listening skills, boys and girls. Now we will be identifying the lesson, moral, or central message of this story. And we will be retelling what happened in the beginning, middle, and end of this story. See you next time, boys and girls. And remember to read, read, and read some more.